Let's give this a shot, shall we? I'm using my new camcorder. Hello guys, where are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com with my arcade block unboxing for April 2016. And today is May 9th, most likely May 10th for you. I don't know why I get them so late. I'm not complaining, it's just very interesting. Anyway, today's video is being recorded using the Sony FDR AX 53 in beautiful 4K. Now this image quality may not look amazing right now because I'm just in my office right now. I'm not outside, I'm not using natural light. I'm actually using this umbrella kit right here. Oh, hello there. So we'll see how this performs. But with that said, stay tuned for kind of like a montage demo reel video, if you will, of this camera in the near future. Actually, I'm going to Driftwood in just a few days, so I think that's a perfect opportunity to put this camera through its paces. Okay, so getting into the point of today's video, this is my Arcade Block unboxing, like I said, for April 2016. And if you guys do not know what Arcade Block is, think of it as a monthly Christmas for gamers and geeks like you and myself. And that, my friends, is a very good thing. Don't do that, that is very dangerous. Do not follow me as an example, seriously, that is not funny. Okay, anyway, let's do this. Do not disturb. Getting Snapchat notifications. Follow me on Snapchat, in case you're curious. And my voice is not 100% there because this past weekend's vlog was a pretty long one. All right, here we go. Let's see what we have this month. What's the theme? I don't wanna spoil anything yet. This month's theme is, I don't know the theme. However, there is a Borderlands Funko Pop. So let's get that out of the way. Not that Borderlands is bad, because a lot of people love Borderlands. I personally just never got into it, so actually I might give this to my friend Josh. He's a big, big fan of Borderlands. Uh, this is Handsome Jack. Don't know who Handsome Jack is, so I'm getting a shadow there. But still, regardless, if you are a fan of Borderlands, then I'm sure you can appreciate this very much. Not too bad at all. All right, next up, Battleborn pins. Not a fan of Battleborn either. And actually, with that said, I've never even played Battleborn. But if you're a fan of Battleborn, there you go. See, that is one major advantage of using a camcorder for videos like this. I don't have to worry about getting B-roll on the side. So, if you guys are a fan of this style, let me know and perhaps I will use this camcorder more often. And of course, by more often, I just simply mean videos other than the weekend vlogs. All right, this one's shirt. Please relate to my interests. Please relate to my interests. Because I hate when I can't relate to something. It's just, oh, hold on. Next items I can relate to. Anyway, here we go. Is it good, guys? Is it good? Let me know in the comments right below. Okay. It looks like Vault Boy from Fallout 4 or just from Fallout in general. Okay guys, to be perfectly honest, and I've made this very clear, but if you're new to this channel, and I'm sure I'm gonna get torn up for this, I think Fallout 4 is the most overhyped game I have ever played. It is so severely flawed that it blows my mind that people call it phenomenal or a work of art. No, 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 no. Anyway, that's beside the point. Regardless of my feelings of Fallout 4, this is definitely a cool shirt. I don't hate Fallout. Let me make that very clear, I don't hate Fallout. I just don't understand all the hype. So there you go, a throw boy, throw boy, yeah. A vault boy shirt, throw boy. Now throw boy is a good brand, but still, hey. Cool shirt, and this is definitely something I will wear, because I'm not ashamed to say that I play Fallout here and there. It's just, I don't understand all the hype. Okay, Assassin's Creed. This I can definitely appreciate more. I'm not a huge fan of Assassin's Creed, but I think it's more enjoyable than Fallout. There's a comment that will get some hate. Hey, just expressing my opinion. I have opinions just like you have opinions, so relax if you're about to freak out. So, here you go, little Assassin's Creed minifigure. Very cool. And this will be going on my shelves right back there, little cubic cubes. Let's put this autofocus to test, shall we? Oh, look at that. Very nice. Definitely very nice. I like that a lot as I throw him. Oh, and by the way, this is, it's Altair Ibn La Ahad. Okay, so I am an Assassin's Creed fan, 
but I don't really know the characters. I just enjoy the game for its acrobatics and whatever. But even with that said, Black Flag I thought was a, I don't know, kind of a letdown. And it comes with a little pedestal. Pretty cool. How does he sit in that pedestal? I'm not really sure. Is there a piece I'm missing? Oh, here we go, here we go, I got it. Little piece was inside the box. Put that there. I'm thinking about going back to the T4i for videos like this. This is just too crowded. And then stick it in his back. Like so. And you can rotate them. Bam! That definitely makes it a little more convenient. Awesome. And actually in real time, check this out. I will put him next to the rabbits. Not bad. I need a new chair. This thing is noisy as hell. All right, Legend of Zelda Hyrule Multi-Tool. Keychain, bottle opener, and screwdrivers. Awesome. This is my favorite item this month. This is very cool because I will definitely be using this for camping. I need a bottle opener. Awesome. It's a keychain too. It's a little big to be a keychain in my opinion. But this is definitely a tool that I will keep in my camping bag. Very awesome. Wow, it's got some nice weight to it. So there you go, a little Hyrule multi-tool. Very neat indeed. Okay, so again, it's a bottle opener, two forms of a screwdriver, and what else? Oh, a key ring, okay. That's not really a tool, but still, awesome. This I like a lot. Arcade block, well done. And last but certainly not least, a Zelda mouse pad. Okay, so I don't use mouse pads because I prefer to have my mouse on my desk, that's just me. But this is definitely very cool. However, I can still appreciate this, it's Zelda. Everybody likes Zelda, especially the music, right? Come on, who out there loves a Zelda music? Granted, I haven't played a Zelda game in so long, but I can still appreciate the series. And Nintendo, wise move on making the next Zelda game an NX launch title. I quote because we still don't have the official title for the next Nintendo console. But um, that's definitely a smart move in my opinion. Because guys, let's face it, the NX, it needs an extremely strong launch title. Because after the Wii U, Nintendo needs to give their fans some confidence in their brand. So I am definitely looking forward to the NX in March. I believe March. We'll see if that actually happens. But regardless, we will definitely have details at E3. Right? Okay, there you go. I'm not gonna call this month's arcade block a huge success because I've seen better from them in the past, but that's not to say, Alex, I'm not talking to you. But that's not to say arcade block is not an awesome service because it honestly is. It's my favorite monthly box, so definitely check it out if you appreciate any of this kind of stuff. And let's face it, we all do. This is all gamer and geek stuff. I mean, I may not be a fan of Borderlands or Fallout or whatever, but that doesn't mean I don't appreciate this kind of stuff. So, Arcade Block, keep up the awesome work. And finally, if you guys want your own Arcade Block, sign up using the link right below. That is my affiliate link, so I appreciate it. Arcadeblock.thefran.co. Make it happen and enjoy. And finally, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this format. Is this a good format? Do you prefer this camera or the T4i for future Arcade Block unboxings? Thanks for your support, and I'll talk to you soon.